it's hard not to back up and start wiggling. Now I've got great shots does, on league. Yeah, what purpose does the front limping. tank serve? Who should be the first one to die? Guy in the front. The front, front one. Tank. Guy in the because front, then so the they front can guy. use his husk. Yeah, because everyone right else there. just stays there. Now, his natural instinct is going to be, oh, fuck, i got to back up. He backs up, the whole line is fucked. If you've ever watched the movie 300, you understand something about uh, a phalanx. Your shield protects the guy not only to your left, but you. So you're not just worried about yourself, you're worried about your team. So with the E5, you have a rounded hole, and different angles are possible. You can s side scrape, you can wiggle, you can point towards your enemy. You have a really, really tough tank. Now, E5s, get out of there, and IS-7s take their place. One bad thing about this with the E5 is that you're uphill and it exposes so much of your lower plate. Now the same is going to be true for the IS-7s. So are we but, still facing against that husk that we were shooting before? V100, yes. me. That way you'll have the camera angle right. Alright, well then, uh, here, let me let me adjust here because I got a hill. Alright, now instead of uh, doing it right, let's show everybody what's been doing wrong. Just line up like the E5s were to where you're pointed towards harms right now. With your, with your tanks. Now this is how we've been doing gun line. This is how the IS-7s are right now. Now the problem with the IS-7 doing that is all your armor angles are defeated by where Harms is at. And this is where we've been doing it. So, alright, now get in the proper position and face the E-100 as if the E-100 was your enemy and he had three or four people with him. Okay, are we facing, like, the F1 corner, or are we facing just the exactly E-100, Flyologist. I have such beautiful shots on all of them. I, I don't agree with that gun line at all. I don't either, um, but I Obi, just don't agree with Obi is. Yeah, Obi, you need to be behind Bottle, to where you're kind of looking at his rear end. And Big Mac, you need to do the same. Like now overlapping we're his left side with your right now side. Now we're talking. There you go. Now if Bottle was to die, Obi's got a fucking shield from hell. He, what was the biggest strength of the IS-7 that we said earlier? Like the hold down. If the IS-7 is hold down, he can fuck you to an entire team. Big Mac, you're a little too far out. I've got a good shot at your lower plate. Like your entire you front has to be on the front of the guy in there front you of you. Like there the you only right thing there. that could possibly be sticking out is some of your track. Yeah, the only person I've got a good shot oh, on see, now I is. I just shot at Obi. His bottle. I just shot at Obi again, and I'm shooting with a tank that's got good pin, and I bounced twice. Now that's an IS-7 gun line. The IS-7 gun line does not look like an E5 gun line. All right, IS-7s get out of there. E100 to move up there. Play as well. Now, I'll stay where you're at, Flay. Alright. Now, the first E100 will not be lined up like the rest of the E100s. First E100 is going to have to have more angle. What does an E100 do while you're reloading? Turn his turret 45 Turn degrees turret. from the target. That's right. The weakest part of an E100 when you're in a face off is your cheeks. Snake, you got to do a little bit more than that. Even like another can ten. pierce your cheeks. Snake, you, like we're yeah, snake, snake. When you're reloading, rain. when you're reloading, snake, zoom out all the way and point the corner of your turret directly at the guy who's got his gun on you. So if I'm shooting at you, you want that corner pointed right at my gun. There you go, right there. And it doesn't matter if that if it's that corner, or if you want to use the other corner, yep. you just got to use your common sense on what uh, risk you might be taking to somebody might want to flank you and zoom out or go around you a little further. Now what I would say is point your gun out and then depress your gun all the way because that gets a lot less in the way of the guys behind you than any other, like then pointing the back of your turret in the way. Alright, right, now, now give a volley can still shoot. into the husk that's in front of Flayologist. And immediately you should turn your turrets. Yep. There you go. Alright, now if we were having a mixture, uh, Hulk get out of there and John get out of there. Now let's get an IS-7 and an E-5 in there. Now what happens? 
Big Mac, are you gonna go up there? Or do you want me to? Yeah, might as well. All right. Now you gotta marry all these tanks together, and use the strengths of each, and not use their weaknesses. Whoever the IS-7 so is, is, you can't get your gun on me front. like that. All right, well, all right. Now IS-7, say, you have to back the, up. You would want the IS-7 in the front if you had time to plan it. But if you're responding yeah. here and this is just what happened, the E-100 in the front is not a bad choice. Um, the E-5 would be ideal in the back due to the gun depression and the area that we're in where we're on a hill. So that's good. And the IS-7... You're pointing your nose the wrong direction. You want to point it towards your there right. You Con to the right. Yeah. You're going to have to have a little bit more room to yeah. wiggle and, and move because... Now you're going to have to do a little bit of peek a The ISM will have to, have to back dancing. up just a little bit, yeah. So you can't just sit still like we've been preaching. You will have to do a little bit of what we've been telling you not to do. But it now, needs to be minimal. Can I just, like, because sometimes wiggling, like if you're looking at Bottle, uh, who's in the IS-7 here, sometimes wiggling for you guys means this, right? The full-on, like, predicting movement, right? Wiggling should only be maybe a meter right and back forward left right right not like not moving so much that you're disrupting the other people right you should be staying within like a meter of all sides of your tank all right now uh, as far as the 215b's uh, really the only thing that you could do working together would be extreme angles um, and uh, reverse side scraping so that that back turret is out and the preferably in a hold down position it could side scrape off the E100 like a yeah champ. yeah. So if you're ever in a mixture of tanks, you want the 215s in the back, not in the front. If you don't have a choice about it, then that front 215B just has to have discipline. Yes, you're going to die. Yes, you're going to be a shield for everybody else. So also, when you know you're about to die, it's not a bad idea if you need to move a little bit to take up more space and be more armor, so that the other people can't just swing around and bypass you. You want, us to, morning. want us to move so the 215Bs can get over here? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We got two minutes. Now, the 215Bs, where's their biggest string? Turret. That's all you got. They got a fuck you turret. You try to pin that turret, and it's just a, an aggravation. As long as you shoot with sheiks, it's the same like the Evo 100. Yeah, but it's much smaller. Yeah, well, heat, to be honest, and it's also angled. Well on it. <laughs> to be honest, I go for the, the cupola most of the time. I mean, the cheeks are, are good, yes, that happens, but the cupola is much, much bigger, and also, no matter how he angles his turret, like, unless he over angles it and the cheek's an obvious pen, the, the cupola is just easy. Do so you can't shoot uh, flaying arms right now. Correct, I can't. I didn't know who you wanted me to be looking at. There you go. So the guy in front of you is just going to die. The, the 215 in front is going to die. He's going to try to pump out as much damage as he can because even... With his cupola is going to be exposed, his cheeks are going to be exposed. There you go. If you're wiggling, that's going to make it a lot more different, difficult. So... The 215Bs have to play, be played with competency. They have a little bit of a learning curve, as well as every tank. So learn your weaknesses, learn your strengths, minimize your weaknesses, enhance your strengths. As a team, not just only as individuals. That's how we're going to start turning the shit around and winning. Your collars can only place you in the positions. They can't drive for you. And we have enough trouble doing half of that. So we got to do as much as we can to start evening odds when we're play when we're facing clans of equal statistics. Any final comments before we wrap this up? Mm, make uh, sure you share your gain knowledge with other people if they miss this for some reason. Well, we're going to post this gonna YouTube. in, in a, a training. Now, something that I would say, um, just about the 215B as a tank, not necessarily as the strategy, is that the 215B is not a, a side-scraping or like a holding tank. The 215B has a good health pool and a ridiculously good DPM, but the actual armor of that tank is not exceptional. 
So I think that if you're being forced to gun line with two 15Bs, that that's not an ideal situation in the first place. It's, it's really like the rear tank, and it should just be like poke yeah. Let me know it's when a, you want this a, recording stopped, Harms. Uh,